back to the show. It's been five months since the Weinstein scandal launched a movement that exposed the misogyny of dozens of important men, and also Geraldo. But there is one important figure in the Weinstein affair who received even less attention than Harvey's potted plant, Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance. To be clear, Mr. Vance has not been accused of groping any women, but sadly, he also kept his hands off Harvey Weinstein. In 2015, 22-year-old model Amber Badalana Gutierrez accused Harvey Weinstein of sexual misconduct. Gutierrez agreed to meet Weinstein and wear a wire. He actually admits sexually assaulting her. The New York District Attorney is defending his decision not to press charges against Weinstein and telling reporters today that wire was not enough. That's right, ladies. If you're going to run a whole damn sting operation to get evidence of your assault, spring for the GoPro. Because the New York DA ignored audio evidence of sexual assault, or as I like to say, he Billy Bushed it. <laughs> Speaking of letting the Trumps do whatever they want, turns out Vance was doing just that before it was congressional policy. Ivanka and Donald Jr. came very close to being charged with felony fraud for their sales tactics in marketing the Trump Soho building to would-be buyers. But it was dropped after the Manhattan District Attorney, Cyrus Vance, overruled his staff just after getting a visit from Mark Kasowitz, Donald Trump's attorney, who had donated $25,000 to Vance's campaign. Well, at least the Trumps paid someone. <laughs> Oh, it only takes $25,000 to get a prosecutor to drop charges? In that case, please donate to my vandalism bribery fund. <laughs> when I spray painted Dick on the side of Trump Tower, it was only because I wanted to express my love for dicks. Now, we don't know if any of that money influenced Vance's decisions. District attorney is an elected position, and it's not against the law for them to take donations, even from lawyers who they may face in court, which is Fucking crazy! Even Vance himself had trouble defending it. Is it appropriate that district attorneys are allowed to raise so much money from law firms with business before the office? The answer is that it is legal. Yes, it's legal, but is it appropriate? Uh, it, it is legal, and it has been common practice for district attorneys to be able to raise money from lawyers, even though those lawyers may have matters before the office. Does that it's make it right? Well, well, it makes it legal. It may not be right, but it is legal. Elected officials shouldn't be using the Airbud defense. To be fair, Cy Vance did voluntarily stop taking donations from people with cases pending with his office. And to be extra fair, he doesn't just help big donors named Trump. He goes easy on lots of white people. His office is twice as likely to convict black marijuana offenders as white ones. Not only is that racist, but white people deserve to be punished way more for what they do to pot. Nobody wants your marijuana date balls, Stacy. I mean, we'll eat them, but they do not taste like brownies, you healthy bitch. The point isn't that Cy Vance is a monster. I mean, actually, as prosecutors go, he's a pretty stand-up guy. He ended cash bail for misdemeanors, worked to end a rape kit backlog, and stopped prosecuting stupid shit cops only arrest people of color for, like jumping subway turnstiles, which is too bad, because that's how Michael Jackson's gang of street thugs were finally brought to justice. <laughs> they pleaded bad. Chan no. The point is that Vance can do all those things, good and bad, because prosecutors can do basically whatever the fuck they want.